I require sustenance. <laughs> No. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have yet another drink review. These are getting popular. This is going to be fun. I'm not going to waste your time. Today, I will be reviewing the PewDiePie G Fuel. PewDiePie G Fuel. I'm going to be reviewing this on three things. The first thing I'm going to rate this on is taste. The second thing I'm going to rate this on is can design. And the third thing I'm going to rate this on color. Because if this looks absolutely disgusting, going to be I won't want to drink it quite as much. So we're going to start off with can design. This is an absolutely insane can design. It's so good. It's got PewDiePie on the front holding the lignin berries, which is very cool. Zero sugar, inspired by PewDiePie. 16 fluid ounces. Let's quickly take a look at the calories and whatnot. Calories, zero. Total fat, zero. Sodium, 60 milligrams. Total carbs, zero. Total sugars, zero. Total protein, zero. There is a bit of potassium in here. There is a bit of vitamin C, a bit of vitamin B6, a bit of niacin. I, I, that probably wasn't right. And a bit of vitamin B12. Not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, and iron. And there are 300 milligrams of caffeine in a can. Again, that's not awful. But if you down like this, again, I'm not drinking this all at once. I'm drinking like probably not even half of this right now. Just because if I consume 300 milligrams of caffeine at one time, I had better be ready to be like hopped up for the next several hours. And I need to be ready to expect a crash in about five hours. And I have work that needs to be done in five hours, so I cannot crash. This costs $2.50 from Bucky's. So it's not horribly expensive for an energy drink, but it's also not very cheap. Take a quick gander at the ingredients. Carbonated water, citric acid, malic acid, sodium gluconate, vitamin and amino acid blend, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and green coffee bean extract, green tea extract, some potassium sorbate, potassium citrate, sucralose, again, a little bit annoyed, sucralose, it's an artificial sweetener, it's not actually much better for you than sugar, but without further ado, let's pop open this can. Don't pop, don't, okay, it didn't go all over the place, that's good, so, smell, <laughs> smells really good, smells very, very nice. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, PewDiePie G Fuel. That is really stinking good. That is really stinking good. So to start off, can like, can design is legitimately a 10 out of 10. This is one of the most appealing drink cans I've ever seen. So can design, 10 out of 10. And honestly, this is going to be a much, much shorter review because I've had PewDiePie G Fuel once before, but this just reconfirms exactly what I was thinking. This is the best energy drink I've ever had. And I know you've probably seen some of PewDiePie's videos and said, Oh, well, he's biased. He says it's the best energy drink. Like, I've had a couple energy drinks before. This is the best out of all of them by quite a bit. The lignin berry, I've never had lignin berry in anything else, but it is very tasty. So this is a very, very delectable drink. Can design is great. Taste is very, very good. And I think that will reflect in my final score. However, one last taste. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yep, yep. That flavor really comes through. It's not too horribly sweet. It's not too horribly carbonated. It's great. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to give the PewDiePie G Fuel a nine out of 10 rating. This is the highest rating any drink on here has ever gotten. This is better than Milo's sweet tea. This is better than the Arizona drink thingy. This is so much better than the Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. 
and this is quite a bit better than the Spider-Man Radioactive Lemonade. I say quite a bit. That was actually, that's not fair. That was a very good drink. However, this elevates itself. This is great. I want to drink this. If you've never had lignanberries before, um, it tastes a bit like Sprite. But like, better. <laughs> it, like, I don't really know how to explain it. It tastes like Sprite, but, but more kind of fruity. Uh, this is, this, I would count this as a fun drink, honestly. So, without further ado, my rating of this, 9 out of 10. I can't remember if I've already said that. I have short-term memory loss. Um, the reason why I did not get a point is I am a big, big disliker of sucralose. And this has to have a good bit of sucralose in it. This has to have 50, 60 milligrams of sucralose, if I had to guess, just to give it that sweet flavor. Obviously, lignin berries are probably pretty sweet as they are. However, they probably had to jam this with sucralose. And generally speaking, sucralose is not very healthy for you. I mean, sucralose and sugar are very different, right? And I can fully understand not wanting to put sugar in this because this thing's already gonna hop you up as it is. And I suppose I should also say, I did factor in the price into what I would rate this because when it comes to price, right, you're not gonna get most energy drinks for like under two bucks. Like, Generally speaking, $2.50 is about the average of what an energy drink costs. So, it's pretty good. So anyways, thank you. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. That's true. That is a good video idea. What? Oh, would you look at that? The fish is turning around. He's giving me video ideas. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the drink review. Here's the playlist if you want to watch some other drink reviews. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you will probably like of mine. If you want to subscribe, click the button right in the middle. Thank you for watching. Wait, what?